These two that are battling are best friends. They have a podcast together. They've made out multiple times on this stage, on billboards around the fucking country. The first guy I'm bringing to the stage is the funniest guy from Clovis, California. <laughs> Big love for Conor McSpad. California. Uh, you look good. Time for some Thank you. Oh yeah, these are battles. This is a battle. You're betting your best friend again. It's gonna be yeah, incredible. Yeah. You guys came in battling each other. We did. Yeah, that was my fourth fight. It was uh, I think Keith's uh, second or third. Fight. Yeah. That long hair looks good on you. No thanks, buddy. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we're doing this again. So now we're bringing up this guy. He just battled last week. Lost. Lost to the the champion of the world rose battle, Eli Sayers. Please make a left for Keith Care. Yeah! Mean Boys fans? Yeah, we have four people and none of them brought a friend. That's how you got four of our fans. And they all look like you, too. By the way, I love that my credit now is he failed last week. <laughs> you didn't lose last week, I wouldn't have said that. You <laughs> shit. Shut up. Anyway. Hey, Keith has gone through a lot of shit, not in life and also in this show, and I'm just honored that he's willing to come up here, even in spite of all those stairs. <laughs> Hope you guys like fat jokes. It's going to be a fucking lot of them. <laughs> three rounds strong. Three jokes per round. Saudi Prince, who do you like in this one? This is not the same battle from last week. <laughs> I swear to God, you look like... Uh, well, maybe I'm crazy. All white people look the same. Uh, the, the vertical stripes are really working for you, my friend. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a great battle. Let's see what they got. <laughs> oh, great. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, Byers. Go. Who do you like this one? I mean, this really does look like Bert and Ernie's first date. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, these are two of the fucking best. Like, just as a fan of this show, I'm yeah. so excited to see them. No, they're excited. It's like you guys are purging each other. Like, you guys have to cleanse each other by just, like, brutally ripping each other apart. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Have you guys ever battled <laughs> each other? Yeah, a couple years ago. A couple years ago? Yeah. All right. Well, this is like a rematch. Of oh, yeah. Round exactly one. That. Tip the tat. We know the rules. Who wants to go first in this first round? I'll go first. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Jeff, who's going first? Oh. Round one. He battled last week, he so did. I think Connor should go first. Yeah. Alright. Me boys! Connor! Keith! All the way. Let's roll! Keith once walked in on his mom fucking two guys, which is not as traumatizing as when I walked in on Keith eating five guys. <laughs> That's five years. Let me put that in perspective for you. If our friendship was a baby, and that baby was Connor, our friendship would have already been brutally molested. <laughs> True. True. I was molested. One guy touched my dick one time, and I got a personality out of it. Thousands of guys have touched Keith's dick, and all he got was dark circles under his dead eyes. <laughs> so much Zoloft, his cock doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Here's my question. How is somebody so stuck up always stuck down? <laughs> it's true. I'm very depressed, but I'll never be as depressed as Keith's spot on the couch. <laughs> Keith 
tried to hang himself as a teenager, and he's been taking his anger out on belts ever since. <laughs> It's true, I tried to kill myself, but of course me and this hacker friends because he can't resist a low-hanging fruit. <laughs> but Connor's wrecked three cars since we've been friends. How are you such a bad driver when you look like you still sleep in a race car bed? <laughs> See, I can feel like the rest in you right now. You're like coming out a little bit different. Well, Keith does live in my house, so there's not that much rest. There's a lot of sleep apnea going on. <laughs> so you guys are roommates? Yeah, uh, Keith is my roommate, also my couch. Very convenient. <laughs> Chair is so depressed. You sit down and you can't talk. Y'all motherfuckers are amazing. Both of y'all look like the two type of white people my parents told me to ignore. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't listen to them. But y'all are fucking amazing. I don't. Yeah. Y'all make me feel like I don't understand friendship. <laughs> you had on someone shaped like a circle. <laughs> you used every part that of the... Boy, no, <laughs> you used every part of the buffalo you're insulting. Uh, uh, buffalo uh, wild wings are insulting. <laughs> I, I mean... I, uh, sorry. Just to just defense. It's like Connor's good enough to make a joke about a lot of different things and he landed on a fat joke because he liked his fat jokes the best. So I get stuck with that sometimes. I, uh, yeah, I thought it was great that you... Hit your buddy on this one thing that you know probably I mean, fucking fucks up. That's what was amazing. The first joke was you got molested, and then, oh, by the way, you're also fat. <laughs> Both of which are true. Yeah. Y'all are those mean, and I like this. But, but, but the thing that I love the most about this, I know there's more, and I'm excited for it, but what I love about it so far is it feels like you're writing jokes that the other person wants to hear. And then there's just that that's where you can see the friendship and the cleverness and this is just yeah, this is what I'm good. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you know, like they said, man, this is shaping up to be the best battle of the night, second only to the buttons on Keith's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Shirt. It's so well. It's a good oh shirt, God. you asshole. I, I know they just got 80s music in Saudi Arabia. I didn't know they also just got that 12-year-old joke. Speaking of timely references, this stage looks like Britney Spears during different stages of her success. <laughs> Fitting shirts? Do you buy from Big and Suppressed? Come on, fucking rounds of these shirts. Let them, the, you know. Yeah, rounds is a little bit different. They both get to spin as many jokes as possible in the allotted time of 30 seconds. Uh, since there's no winner in round one, since we had to declare one, who do you want to see go round two, Joe? Who should go? I mean, should we yeah. declare a winner for round one? Yeah, Connor. 
Yeah. 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 Well, you lost the first round now, going to these three. I defer. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's roast! Yeah. Keith looks like he got stung by a swarm of Applebee's. just gets a notification every time someone wishes Earl was on the show instead of him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a cold <laughs> business. <laughs> Keith was actually supposed to be on the first plane to hit the towers on 9-11. And I love you, buddy, but I wish you would have made it on the flight because there's no way they would have had enough fuel to get to New York. <laughs> I was supposed to be on that 9-11 flight because I came closer than he ever will to making an impact on a comedy community. <laughs> MTV and Comedy Central. If you really want me to lose weight, let go of my fucking coattails. <laughs> Connor once jerked off in the same room that my girlfriend was sleeping in. I don't know what's sadder, that you did something so creepy, or that you didn't even have the self-confidence to just rape her. <laughs> I think anytime someone brings up 9 11, it's hilarious. So that was, I commend the two of you for bringing timely humor to the show. This, this battle is so close, man. It's like watching a community college reenactment of the movie Twins with Danny Davidish and Arnold just wants to say the word nigger. It's just like that. Are we letting that go? playfully twitching, but in the second round, it's like, no one puts Tubby in a corner. <laughs> it was like, it was like a beautiful mind watching the rape jokes form, like, physically sitting <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Keith, you, Tommy, you were great again, but Keith, that was one of the best rounds I've ever seen you do, so I've seen you do a lot. You were just so great. <laughs> your jokes but you own the room you you orchestrated the crowd and, and when you, you silenced them when you wanted to go so great timing great performance great, too yeah that's great yeah. Yeah. can i also say before chris weighs in that uh the only n-word that keith doesn't say is nutrition all right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
looks like nutrients, uh, nanas, bananas, fuck. <laughs> Nutrition. <laughs> Hey man, I, I like I like the way both of y'all like love and hate each other at the same time. You know, but uh dog Keith, that was shit was flawless, nigga. It was like watching you eat anything. <laughs> you know, it was like dogs like you don't even think about it. No, that shit was crazy. I get it to Keith, hands down. Yeah. Hey, Connor also had a great fucking I mean he opened by saying he's attacked by a no, no, no. Oh, yeah. no, no. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, so I, I, I can't We're be- creating Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Shut up and let me win. <laughs> you ever seen a round in a Rocky movie where they both get punches in? It's either one guy or the yes. other. So that's the narrative. <laughs> By the way, even though I gave that round to Keith, I do need to acknowledge that Applebee's joke was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, Connor always had a great round. Of course, you know, I'm saying it was a great round in spite of how great his round was. Well. I'm yeah, excited about okay. getting this show. I'm gonna go home. I love that a black guy's talking about how a white guy's just been oppressed by a voting system. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Keith gets fucked over by judges a lot, both in roast battle and when they gave his mom custody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See how much better Keith was? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nobody understands how mean that joke was. Uh, no, I mean, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, Keith, I can't believe a fat guy in a Supergirl t shirt's rooting for you. <laughs> we we're both trying to get into the all women screening of Wonder Woman. What? <laughs> you got the press credentials, I got the tits. We can make this happen. <laughs> Well, I'm very much looking forward to this story. Oh, hell yeah. I love this so much. We all love this so much. These are me boys. They're dating. Last round. Stop kissing ass and start kicking each other. Third round, oh, okay. dude. I love you. Uh, all right, we're tied up. Jeff, who do you want to see go first this last round? I feel like, uh, who's been going first? Connor went Connor first. I went first. Twice, right? Yeah, it's yeah. His turn now. Yeah. Keith, you ready? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah! Let's go! Connor's ex had a miscarriage, proving that just because he has a baby face doesn't mean he can have a baby with a face. (laughs) Funny you should say that Keith's mom smoked while she was pregnant, and I still don't know if it was meth or baby back ribs. Baby's fat, baby's fat, baby's fat, maybe she just don't have a kid. She's a bad mom. If we've learned anything tonight, it's that my life is way more interesting than Connor's. Like, if I have demons, he has Keebler elves. Ah, fuck. Well, yeah. Dude, I feel like you just lost it there. You haven't been fucked over by a wave that badly since you got beached. Oh. And Keith, the Rose Battle community is worried about your health. If you don't start taking care of yourself, you're going to be the only person that needs pallbearers for his urn. <laughs> for being bisexual and he looks like every dude that's ever called me faggot but he acts like every dude that's ever called me daddy (laughs) (laughs) sorry Jessica (laughs) Keith got blown at a Craigslist glory hole which is weird because usually when you bust through a wall it's because someone's making (laughs) Kool-Aid From oh yeah to O positive blood transfusions for the rest of his short life. (laughs) The main boys! Who cares? Sorry, Prince. You know, you know, the more I look at this stage, the more it doesn't look like a battle. It looks more like two lesbians in Silver Lake trying to adopt an inner city youth. Can we take you home? <laughs> but, uh, oh, this this was amazing, my friend, and I, I want to give it to Tracy Lords, but instead I'm going to give it to the Lord of the Flies. <laughs> you can't even eat pork, seen him. I mean, sorry, friend. Don't, don't do that pork. Okay. Shut up, you. <laughs> Again, why we don't let women talk in my country. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing that we still let him drive.
drive because Keith needs a ride home later and my tire pressure is low. Okay, you're being. Apparently, that's an innuendo for you. Fire squad, who do you like? Okay, so honestly. You had two hacky act outs in that counter, that fucking chili song. Ugh. And then the cool What? I can't believe this guy hates fun. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was a little formulaic for me, guys. <laughs> Fall off the stage. Shut up to the wall. I'm great. Everything's fine. Get him, Mike. I mean, the problem with Guardians of the Galaxy is too. Ego's father became a bad guy too quickly, and it didn't have an emotional center. But anyways. <laughs> it's not Mike's fault. He Thank you, inner me. It's not Mike's fault. He didn't like ego. He doesn't know what a dad that loves you looks like. <laughs> I didn't think this show could dry pussy more, but. Uh. <laughs> no, I, I think Keith Keith pulled that out just a little bit more. So. All right. Yeah. 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 Man, I love you and your stomach, man. I like y'all. <laughs> but, dog, the meanest, the meanest kid in kindergarten. Dog, you told this man his ashes are heavy, nigga. That's what Mary. Probably some of his ideas, but they're pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One, one, one. Oh, that's you, Jeff. Oh, first of all, amazing effort on. Both of your behalves, Connor and Keith. You make it look easy. You make it look easy, but people who don't really know how to show work, they did three rounds each. They had to think about each other fucking day and night all week, and it comes down to this. Like, I do that anyway. Yeah, right. same. <laughs> Keith, you know, you know, you're a little bit better than Keith. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Two the you had the two best jokes of night, the Applebee's joke and then the one about the heavy urn, the fat one. <laughs> but you take you took an extreme risk and I, I'll remember the home runs more than the other jokes, but I gotta go with an overall performance tonight in consistency and I actually think Keith sort of owned that tonight. <laughs> Finally swings his way, everybody. Keith yeah. Carey! We want to say something right now. This is the last time we're going to fight each other, but we are going to be fighting with each other. We're starting the first tag team, Rose. Yeah! And we're calling out our opponents right now. Who are we fighting, Connor? Jay Lights and Frank Castillo. Oh! Thank <laughs> you.